Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and this is the first game in two seasons we are playing Stanford, our number one rival. So hit that like button, and it's the second, actually the third, make that three in a row games playing the number 13 ranked team in the nation. I, I've never seen that happen, as we haven't even jumped that much in the rankings at all. So Hopefully, maybe this one will boost us up a little bit. But just looking at their top playmakers, they have a few. But their top defender, Yumura, is going to miss this game with an injury. So we actually have that advantage going into this game. So just looking at our leaders, Denzel Knox has six touchdowns. And he might actually be on the Heisman list come next week if he has a big game. But looking at our leading receivers, we spread the ball out. You see, this is very well-rounded here. Is this is what I kind of like to do. I like to get everybody the ball. We don't really have a big playmaker, and we haven't had one yet on this squad. This is a very young receiving core as far as, you know, getting yards and catches and experience. But, you know, our defense is balling out. I mean, look at these guys. I mean, Hemhill is having himself a great start to the season, his first year starting on the left side of the field. And then also Denzel Knox on offense having himself a pretty good start. And other guys, I mean, Marcus Daniels having a good year. And, you know, Isaac Tagia doing his thing. Michael Cummings doing his thing. But then Armstead is actually off to a pretty good start to start the season as well. So here we go. We're underway here, giving the ball off to Denzel Knox for the five-yard carry to start it off. And on a third and one, here is Jay Taylor getting the carry, but he's not getting to the first down marker. So they forced the early punt to start out this game. So here is Stanford coming under center. Remember, they are not quarterbacked by Costello anymore as this is a new era under center for Stanford. And, you know, they're going to come with that running attack. Here is West from the shotgun throwing out to the left side. He's going to find Fajoko. And for Bruh. some reason, we did not come up with this play. I don't know what Parker Gass was doing. He was just sit, pretty much sitting there waiting for the receiver to catch that one. He had an opportunity for a interception on that. So now here is West throwing out to the right side on a second and 12, finding his tight end Sims as he picks up a gain of nine. So third and one under center. Here's West again throwing out to the right sideline. But there is Marcus Daniels. That's actually Andrew Jordan, the cornerback. What am I saying? As he gets the deflection, what a season he's had to start out his career as a true freshman number one cornerback. So here's Denzel Knox on the next drive, taking it up the middle, but he's fumbling on the first carry. And there he coughs it up and Stanford picks it up right away. And now they are set up just like that on the other side of the field. It's like they had a deep pass or something because now they're set up inside the 40 yard line on the other side of the field as Justice Woods gets an eight yard carry on that one. So under center here on a second and two. Has a fullback in the backfield, blocking for him, and Woods gets a field and picks up 12 yards. So now on a second and four, here is Woods following his blockers. He's getting another first down, another gain of five as they now move this one inside the five-yard line. On the next play, handing it off to the fullback, and that's going to be a touchdown as they take the 7-0 lead early on. So now here is Jennings out on the field for the next drive, scrambling out to the right side. He's got a lot of room, and he's picking up a gain of about seven. So now here is Knox getting a carry, and look at this defense. This defense is balling out. They haven't given Knox any room, and he loses some yards on that one. But on a third and 12, here's a throw out to the right side. That's Raheem Akusi for the 14-yard reception, actually the leading receiver on our team so far, and he picks up the first down. So now on the play action there is the defense once again getting in there, and they force a third and ten. Here's Jennings, facing some more pressure, and he has to throw this one away. And look, he's a little bit shaken up on that one. That's been a common theme in last video I highlighted. He's got 91 injury, so I don't know how he keeps getting hurt, but he just maybe it's just one of those things. He just keeps getting hurt. So now here is Stanford back out onto the field. His West is getting sacked that time by Michael Cummings, sending the blitz, and they were not prepared at all. So now a third and six, quick throw out to the left side. He's got Russell, and that's enough for a first down. That's a gain of eight. 
So now Woods in the backfield, getting the handoff once again and picking up a block up the middle. Man, Marcus Daniels got blew up on that one, and that's a gain of almost 20 yards. So now on a second and eight, under center, here's West dropping back to pass, and he trips over his running back. I don't think I've ever seen that before, and that's actually a break for us. So now third and 14, here is West. Gotcha, this time facing some pressure and getting sacked, and that's Andre Armstead coming up with the sack. He's having a pretty good start to the season, and that's another sack for him to start out this game. So Bruh. now here's a carry up the middle, but Jay Taylor coughs it up. What is up with this? Either Stanford's coming up with the big hitters or what? I don't know. But our running backs cannot hold on to the ball. Luckily, Deontay Bull is on that one, the senior. And now we get it to a first and 10. Throw over the middle. Here's Raheem Akusi again. That's 13 yards for him as he moves the ball past the 50-yard line, four minutes left. So here's Jay Taylor. We're trusting our running backs, giving it right back to him. You got to give him some confidence. That's a gain of eight. So second and two, here is Jennings, scrambling out to the left side. He's got a lot of room. He's going to move the ball past the 15-yard line and run out of bounds for a gain of 18. So now this drive is looking promising. Here's a handoff to the right side. Here is Denzel Knox. He's getting a gain of eight as he moves the ball inside the 10-yard line. Bruh. But he is shaking up on this one. So, wow, they're either fumbling the ball or getting hurt. So now on a third and one, here's a handoff up the middle. Kasiri Robinson in the game, and he can't get to the marker. That's a gain of one, and we get it to a fourth and in inches. So here's a toss out, out to the left side. Jay Taylor on the catch this time, and he's not going to get Bruh. to the marker. Wow, what is Kasiri Robinson doing? Look, he doesn't even pick up that block, and that costs us, and we turn the ball over at about the eight. So here is gotcha, Stanford bitch. on the next play. Getting sacked, that's Jack West. He's going down, that's Jamar Hardy getting through the line. And maybe if Jamar Hardy wouldn't have got there, Andre Armstead was right there. And that's the first safety of this entire dynasty. So now we, after the punt, we get the ball back with pretty good field position before half. There's Carl Wolf with the reception over the middle. On the next play, Jay Taylor getting the screen pass this time, picking up only a gain of four as this clock continues to move. Second and six, here's Jennings throwing out to the middle of the field. That's Junior Fioka, the tight end for 20 yards. The red shirt junior has himself a first down. So now second and goal, handoff up the middle, trying to move the ball on the ground, but Denzel Knox cannot get to the end zone. So now on a third and goal, this time's taking a sack. That's Drayvon Jennings going down once again. And Dylan Bowles has two sacks so far in this game. And we end up settling for the field goal and bringing it into halftime. Who saw this coming? A defensive game, 23 versus 13. It's five to seven. So now here we go to start the second half. We do start out on defense, and you know Stanford's going to keep trying to run this ball. So we're loading up the box, and here is Woods getting the carry up the middle. That's a gain of about five yards. So now second and five, a counter play out to left side, and that's actually a stop by James Jackson Jr. Remember, he gets in on pass rushing situations. He was in that time on the run. So now here is West on a third and nine, throwing the ball deep to Osiris St. Brown. And that's going to be good coverage by Andrew Jordan. And we force the punt. So now on the next drive, here is Jennings throwing out to the right side. He's got Carl Wolf for a gain of 19 yards and a big first down getting close to the 50-yard line. A couple of plays later here, throwing out to the left side. There's Jennings fighting Matt Pollard. He hasn't been loud at all this season so far, pretty much just being that security blanket. He picks up a gain of 11. So now here is Jennings scrambling out to the right side. He's got a lot of room, and they are not doing a good job of containing Drayvon Jennings. He's had a few scrambles for big first downs. So second and six. Here he is scrambling out to the right side. This time they have the spy on him, but that leaves a man open. That's Mark Harrell, the true freshman. Remember, he was one of the walk-ons, and he picks up a first down. And here is Knox finishing off this drive with the one-yard touchdown run. And now we take the lead here to start the third quarter. So now here is West under center, running the ball once again in this game plan. 
I don't know if it's starting to work because our defense is starting to read these runs and make plays. So now on a third and 10, screen pass out. Woods has got a lot of room, but look at Marcus Daniels and the play that he makes on this. Take another look. He's going in to rush the passer. He senses that screen, and he gets out to stop Woods. What a big play from the red shirt freshman. So now after the punt, we're set up with pretty good field position after a good Jamal Taylor return. Here's a throw across the middle. Here is Junior Feet Oka getting 11 yards, and the tight end has pretty much been our leading receiver so far in this game. He's got 53 yards off of four receptions. Speaking of yards, here is Drayvon Jennings picking up another big scramble. He's got 63 yards rushing so far in this game. So now on a second and eight, throw out to the right side. Screen pass to Jay Taylor this time, and he's picking up about a gain of six as we bring it to a third and two. Handoff, Denzel Knox. He's got a lot of room up the middle, and he's picking up nine yards as they can't contain this running game as you know Denzel Knox has just had a great start to the season here for San Jose. So here is Junior Fioka with the catch on the right side. He's spinning his way up and probably getting more yards than he probably should have on that one as he brings it inside the five yard line. And here is Denzel Knox getting four yards and he eventually gets another carry on the one yard line and gets in for the touchdown. And he makes this an 11 point lead as we line up to go for two. Here is Jennings scrambling out to the right side. He's gonna get there. And just like that, this game has flipped on its head in the second half as Stanford was dominating us on defense and now it seems like it's the other way around. So here is Stanford. Another short throw that time by West. It's either running the ball or throwing short for this offense. So third and six, thrown out to the right side and his tight end drops it, lets him down and Stanford's known for their great tight ends. And just like that, we force another punt. So after the punt, here's a counterplay to the right side. Denzel Knox breaking a tackle, getting away. He's got a lot of room down the sideline. One more man to beat, and he gets oh, it. My oh, God. my goodness. Breaks that tackle, and he gets in for the touchdown. Take another look. He fights off the first tackler, avoids two guys diving after him. Actually, one guy dives into his own teammate and then throws the stiff arm at this last guy and throws him off and gets in for the long touchdown. What a run, probably the run of the year so far and maybe even the best run of this entire dynasty that time by Denzel Knox as now we get it to a second and 12 on defense. Throw out to the left side Bruh. and that's almost a pick six. That's Parker Gass. I don't know how he missed that one. And now we get him to a third and 12. Jack, another handoff on a draw play and that's not going anywhere. This offensive game plan by Stanford has just been terrible. So now we come out onto the field and we actually pull our starters here because we don't want to risk any injury in this game because it doesn't seem like Stanford has a good offense and doesn't seem like they're running the ball at all and moving the ball. So we're just going to put in McDonald here at quarterback. So now a second and seven throw across the middle. That might be a mistake as he makes his first mistake of the game, throwing across the middle and throwing an interception. Look at how wobbly that pass is. And that one wasn't even close as now here comes Stanford back out onto the field. West throwing out to the left side, and that's actually dropped by Fajoko. And wow, I don't know if that was good coverage by Josh Hemphill or just a bad drop by Fajoko. So throw right. out to the right side on a second and 10, and Andre Armstead has an interception, and he pretty much just knocks it down. So third and 10, here is West throwing deep. He's trying Andrew Jordan. And Andrew Jordan has just had Osiris St. Brown on lock this entire game as we bring it to a fourth and 10. Throw across the middle this time by Stevens. And he's not going to get to the first down marker. And that's going to be a turnover. What a performance here in the second half by the SJSU defense. So now we fast forward here inside of two minutes left. Here's a throw by McDonald. Overthrowing his man once again. And that's going to be an interception by Stanford and he's got two interceptions. This is why I was talking about recruiting a quarterback. I just don't know about McDonald. It is his senior year anyway, so we do have to replace him, but he's just made too many mistakes. And I mean, he's he's pretty much done what he's supposed to. I mean, a backup quarterback isn't supposed to be a starter caliber, but hey, we gotta get quarterback. But here is Tagia on the interception on the screen pass and that one is gonna end this game 
And wow, what a can that we opened up in the second half. And the, we just didn't look back. I mean, honestly, the second half we had in this game, Denzel Knox with the big run here, the play of the game. No doubt about it. And we go on to start out this season 3-0. I thought this was going to be a really tough game in Stanford. It was tough in the first half, but their game plan was just horrible. They were just running the ball, short passes. They tried to throw a couple of deep passes, but they weren't even close. As we just played a good game in this one, Drayvon Jennings didn't do anything to hurt us in this game. He didn't turn the ball over, and he made some good passes when he needed to. But Denzel Knox carrying the way with that big run. He went over 100 yards, 114, and three touchdowns. Back to back to back three touchdown gains for Denzel Knox. I mean, what a start to his career as on defense. Michael Cummings had a big game. Andre Armstead had a sack. Uh, Jamar Hardy, the senior. This seems to be a rotating thing. Remember, Cameron Alexander was a senior starter at right end. Now it's Jamar Hardy's turn as a senior. He gets a sack. And we just bottled Justice Woods up in the second half. He couldn't do anything as he ran the ball pretty well in the first and couldn't do anything in the second. So that's going to be it for this rivalry game. Kirk Herbstreit pretty much didn't even believe in us at all. And we come up with the victory. So hit subscribe, hit that like button. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go.